Two of Governor Christie's former aides are headed to prison for a political revenge plot that played out on the George Washington Bridge. And the judge had harsh words for Bill Baroni and Bridget Ann Kelly as he sentenced them. Baroni will serve two years plus a year of probation. Kelly got 18 months along with a year of probation. CBS News' Meg Baker was in the court for the sentencing. She's live in Newark. Meg. Dick and Christine, Judge Wingington called this a sad day for New Jersey. Today, justice meted out corruption at the top levels of state government, and a mother of four is now going to jail. Bridget Ann Kelly, Governor Christie's former chief of staff, maintained her innocence after being sentenced to prison for her involvement in the scandal at the George Washington Bridge. Today has been obviously a very difficult day for me and for my children, but I want to assure my kids and everyone else that this fight is far from over. I um, will not allow myself to be the scapegoat in this case. Her now infamous email. Time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. A lasting impression from the trial, as was this text. Is it wrong that I am smiling? I was uh, hoping that we could get a lesser sentence, but I respect the court. As a defense attorney, obviously, I was looking for probation. Her co defendant, the former deputy executive of the Port Authority, Bill Baroni, walked into the federal courthouse the same way he did each day of his trial, smiling. But inside the stark reality, prison time. I think the message is clear. I I think that, as Judge Wigginton said, this was a case about an abuse of power. When government officials serve their own self-interest, whether politically, whether financially, at the expense of the people that they're supposed to serve, that the government is going to be here to investigate. The judge took into account more than 100 letters sent in support of Baroni from family, friends, colleagues, and even former Governor Jim McGreevy. Other than for this matter, his record of public service has been extraordinary. Bill is looking forward to his appeal. But Judge Wingington says Baroni committed perjury, repeatedly lying and pitching the lane closures as a bogus traffic study, saying, I don't think anyone in this courtroom believes that was the case. Throughout the trial, Baroni and Kelly cast blame on the prosecution's primary witness, David Wildstein, formerly with the Port Authority, saying he orchestrated the plan to go radio silent on Fort Lee's mayor, Mark Sokolich, when he rang the alarm that school children and first responders were stuck in the manufactured traffic jam. In a statement after the sentencing, Democratic State Senator Loretta Weinberg said this was a serious violation of public trust. From the very top levels of state government, the plan to ignore the Fort Lee mayor's repeated calls for help was nauseating. Throughout the trial, we heard testimony from several witnesses who said that Governor Christie and those in his inner circle knew about the lane closures. Former U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman recently said that just because someone was not charged with these crimes does not mean they were not involved. No comment from the governor. Both Baroni and Kelly plan to appeal. We're live at the federal courthouse in Newark. Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.